A dusty, cold, desolate world with a very thin atmosphere. All this is the fourth planet from the Sun, Mars. However, Mars is also a dynamic planet, with seasons, polar ice caps, canyons and extinct volcanoes. Many missions have been organized to the planet Mars, ranging from probe flights to rovers on the surface. Today, the International Fleet, consisting of eight orbiters, is studying the red planet from above, and the surface of Mars is being explored by the Curiosity rover, Perseverance with the Angel helicopter, the Insider launcher, as well as the Chinese Jujuan rover, which, however, has not come out of hibernation for health reasons. All these robot researchers have found a lot of evidence that billions of years ago Mars was much wetter and warmer, with a warm atmosphere. And they also sent various data to Earth recently, which we will talk about in this issue. And we will begin our research from the orbit of the red planet. Well, more than 20 years have passed since the Odyssey orbiter is still studying the Martian surface, having circled the planet more than 94,000 times. During this time, the probe has mapped not just the landscape, but the minerals on the Martian surface. Odysseus discovered deposits of a small amount of ice where it should not be. The probe continues to observe how the seasons, climate and weather change. Meanwhile, the Maywan probe, launched in the 2013 year, continues to study the atmosphere of Mars and investigate how and why it changes. The latest data reported that the solar wind is responsible for the loss of the atmosphere by Mars for many years, since the screening effect of the global magnetic field was lost as a result of the cooling of the planet. But the MRO spacecraft is monitoring any potential landing sites on Mars now and in the future. And in this regard, sometimes find something really interesting. For example, most recently, the high-rise camera on board this probe took pictures of sand dunes covered with frost, just after the winter solstice. The fact is that when winter comes to Mars, its surface turns into a world truly unlike anything else. The coldest of them is observed at the poles of the planet, where the temperature reaches minus 123 degrees Celsius. But no matter how cold it is, you should expect blizzards and snow drifts on Mars Ine, and it won't be easy to make a snowman. Nevertheless, unique winter phenomena are observed on the planet. Here you can find two types of snow, water ice and carbon dioxide or dry ice. Because the Martian air is so thin and the temperature is so low that snow from water ice sublimates and turns into gas even before it touches the surface. And if you took your skis with you, then you would have to go into a crater or on the side of a cliff, where snow could accumulate on an inclined surface. Snow also falls only on holidays, in greater quantities in the coldest, extreme zones of Mars, at the poles under cloud cover and at night. And thanks to the orbital zots, we now know something about Martian snowflakes. As a rule, when freezing, the water molecule adheres to each other and such snowflakes on Earth have six faces. The same principle applies to all crystals. The way the atoms are arranged determines the shape of the crystal. But carbon dioxide ice has the symmetry of four, so snowflakes and dry ice have the shape of a cube. Such snowflakes will be smaller than the width of a human hair and resemble cold dust. But perhaps the most fabulous discovery occurs at the end of winter, when all the accumulated ice begins to melt and sublimate into the atmosphere. At the same time, the ice acquires bizarre and beautiful shapes. Such a secret also causes the eruption of geysers. The transparent ice allows sunlight to heat the gas beneath it, and this gas eventually breaks out, throwing up a layer of dust on the surface. These are the latest data we have received from the orbiting probes on the planet Mars. But let's go down to the surface of the red planet and pay attention to the work of local and working rovers. 
And we will start with the Curiosity rover, which has been studying Mars for 2012 years and continues to surprise us, despite the leaky wheels burned by the harsh climate of Mars. For example, in February of this year, the device observed the first rays of the sun shining through the clouds on the order. Yes, Martian sunsets are distinguished by a unique mood, but this is quite possible, although a rather rare phenomenon. While most of the Martian clouds hang at a height of no more than 60 kilometers above the surface and consist of water ice, the clouds in the latest images are even higher, where it is especially cold. This suggests that these formations consist of ice containing carbon dioxide or dry ice. And here we observe how, when illuminated by sunlight, a rainbow pony appears in the form of a bizarre cloud. Such magical overflows mean that the size of particles and crystals changes over time throughout the formation, which is also quite rare. Among the latest discoveries made by the veteran rover, there are also rippled rock textures indicating the existence of lakes. When Curiosity got to the sulfate-bearing block in the vicinity of Mount Sharp, the researchers decided that they had seen the last evidence that there had once been lakes in this area of Mars. This is due to the fact that the rock layers were formed here in drier conditions than in the regions studied earlier during the mission. It is believed that sulfates, the salty minerals were left behind when the water dried up to the last drop. Once, billions of years ago, waves on the surface of a shallow lake spoiled the sediment at its bottom. Over time, the sediment formed in a stone with a strange texture, which is the clearest evidence of waves and water ever discovered by Curiosity. Meanwhile, the Mars lander inside, covered with a thick layer of dust, after the storm, live out its last days. But the spacecraft is not idle and was able to transmit important data. The umbrella detected another mark concussion. In itself, this is not a surprise, but this is the largest of them, whose power is five times greater than the strength of the previous record holder. Its magnitude was 4.7, and the echoes continued for 10 hours after the event. Other tremors echoed for only about an hour. According to the team's estimates, the source of the Mar concussion is about 2,000 kilometers from the lander. Nevertheless, the seismic waves reached the detector of the spacecraft. It is believed that the cause was a plume under the surface mantle. Strong seismic activity is of great interest because it allows you to learn more about the planet, about its composition below the surface. In general, since the landing of the Insider spacecraft on Mars, more than 700 series of tremors have been registered. It looks like Mars is alive and active much more than we thought. And what can be said about the work of the youngest rover, Perseverance? This rover will begin its third year of operation in the Jizuru crater. A six-wheeled nuclear-powered rover is studying geological features to find signs of ancient microbial life and better understand the processes that shaped the surface of Mars. Perseverance examined and collected data on hundreds of intriguing geological objects. In addition, the rover collected two samples of regolite and one sample of the atmosphere, as well as other specimens. During this time, the rover has already taken more than 166,000 images. For example, in this photo, the Perseverance demonstrate the collected collection of samples on Mars. Even the rovers know, not photographed, not done. Subsequent NASA missions will help collect these samples back to Earth for in-depth analysis. Well, NASA's research continues to this day and has already given us a lot of valuable information about the Red Planet. But despite this, Mars still remains a mysterious and largely incomprehensible object, which, perhaps, hides many more secrets waiting to be discovered.